Let's go to question one. Farmer Brown has built a new barn on horizontal ground on his、uh, farm. The barn has、uh, a cuboid base and a triangular prism roof, as shown in the diagram. The cuboid has a width of、uh, 10 meters, a length of、uh, 16 meters, and a height of、uh, 5. Meters. The roof has two sloping faces and two vertical and identical sides, A, D, E, and J, L, F. The face D, E, F, L slopes at an angle of 15 degree to the horizontal, and E, D equals 7 meters. Calculate the area of a triangle EAD. For the triangle formula, we know that equals one half AB sine C. So we are given this angle. We know this is a seven. We got to know what's AD, so that we can use AB sine C formula. C is included the angle. By A and B, we know here is ten, so that for one A, I can get the area of a triangle EAD equals. I can write down the formula one half AB sine C. So for A that equals to seven, and B that equals to ten, then sine. Fifteen degree. First of all, clear the memory. Second plus seven one two. Then go to mode. Make sure you set up、uh, the angle in degree. Then quit. I will put one divided by two times seven times ten. Then sine fifteen degree. Enter three sig figures nine point zero six. So I got the nine point zero six meter square. That's for one A. For one B, calculate the total volume of a barn. For the volume, we have、uh, two parts. One part is uh, this uh, cuboid V one. And also we have this、uh, triangular prism. It's a V two. So for one B, the V one equals、uh, length times width times height. That equals sixteen、uh, times ten times five.、Uh, you will get eight、uh, hundred. For the V two, that's a、uh, Triangular prism, which means、uh, the base area, capital B times height. For this、uh, triangular prism, you could see this is your base area. The height will be D L. This is a sixteen. Therefore, for base area A E D, you could see. It's here 9.06. So we have 9.06 times 16. We got 144.96. So for the total volume, we add these two together: 800 plus 144.96. Your answer get nine forty four point nine six meter cubed. Let's go to one C. The roof was built using metal supports. Each support is made from five length of metal A E E D A D E M and M N, and the design is shown in the following diagrams. 
ED equals uh, 7, and uh, AD equals uh, 10, and the angle ADE equals uh, 15 degree. M is the midpoint of uh, AD. In, in other words, this is a 5, and uh, here is a 5. N is the point on ED such that MN is at right angles to ED. So we know this is a right triangle. And uh, calculate the length of uh, MN. Let MN equals X. So we know this is a X. We know this is a right angle too. So in right triangle, this is M N D. We already know M D equals five, and M N will be opposite side of this fifteen degree. Then this five, this will be hypotenuse side. Therefore, using so can tower. We can get uh, sine 15 degree equals x over 5. Then we do cross multiply. The same line with the x will go to denominator. Therefore, x equals 1 as denominator, 5 times sine 15 degree. So we go to calculator. 5 times uh, sine 15 degree. You will get 1.29. So you get the 1.29 meters for this uh, MN. For 1D, calculate the length of uh, AE. So let's uh, label AE equals Y. Remember, you have to define the variable when you do the work. For 1D, let's define the variable let AE equals Y. In triangle, this one is not right triangle. In triangle, ADE. Then this 15 is an included angle. So use cosine law. We have uh, c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Since this 15 degree is an uh, included angle, so we use uh, cosine law. Therefore, you will get the y squared equals 10 squared plus uh, 7 squared minus 2 times 7 times 10 cosine 15 degree, then you can get the y equals. Go to calculator. Clear. So we have 7 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 7 times 10, then times cosine 15. Enter. Then we go to second x squared. Pull this down. Enter. So our answer will be 3.71. Y equals 3.71 meters. Let's label here. 3.71. Let's go to 1E. Farmer Brown believes that N is the midpoint of uh, ED. Show that Farmer Brown is uh, incorrect. So for 1E, if uh, N is the midpoint of uh, ED, we have to decide the EN equals uh, ND equals uh, 3.5. 
Therefore, in right triangle M N D, we already know M N equals one point twenty nine. And uh, MD equals five, we can figure out ND by Pythagorean theory. So for one E, let's work out this uh, ND equals square root. The hypotenuse side is a five square minus uh, MN square is a 1.29 square. Then equals to get the second x square five square minus one point twenty nine square enter four point eighty three four point eighty three meters since uh, nd not equal to 3.5 meters. This means N is not the midpoint of ED. So Farmer Brown is incorrect. Let's go to 1F. Calculate the total length of a metal required for one support. Let's look at 1C. Each support is made from a five lengths of a metal AE. AE we already figured out. ED, we already know that's 7. AD, that is 10. EM, we didn't figure this out. MN, we already figured out that's a 1.29. So we need to figure out EM. For the EM, we already figured out ND equals 4.8307 and so on. So we know this EN. Then we can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out this EM. For 1F, we need to figure out this uh, EM. EM equals square root. The hypotenuse, that's EM. Therefore, we will do MN squared plus EN squared. For the EM, we already know that it's 1.29 squared plus. EN will be 7 minus 4.8307, then square. You will use uh, 1.29 square, then plus, parenthesis, 7 minus this uh, square. Then we will do square root. So our answer will be 2.5238 dot dot dot. Therefore, for the total length of this uh, support, that equals AE, that's uh, 3.71, plus uh, 7 ED, then plus uh, AD is 10. Then MN is uh, 1.29. Then plus EM, we figure out that is 2.5238 dot dot dot. We put into graphing calculator equals 24.5 meters is the total length of one support.